Hey, hey, hey! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bubble Tea's Gaming. And today, as the, you can see from the thumbnail and the title, it will be a uh, Ray's Awakening. So, uh, I actually got uh, delayed this video till I got Ray Awakened because I didn't uh, want to spend money on the wheel. So, I just did it normally via the packs. Did it slowly and I finally got Ray to level 4, which is a. Uh, amazing though but like is ray for everybody or rai i don't think so man so this is my professional opinion okay so i tested uh rai uh over kvk and if you wanna get rai the first thing you must know is that she's not meant for spear so if you're playing spear just uh get her to level two so I'll, I'll explain uh, the breakdown now, I'll look at some better reports with you guys, but generally uh, that's the flow of the video. Okay, so let's do uh, the breakdown. So Rai level 4 uh, at 80 uh, is quite good, she's actually really tanky, she's actually really good in the training ground because she silences uh, Simon and Madri Tyrell. So if you level for her and you get her in the training ground, she's a very good counter to Madri Tyrell and Simon. So if you're a training ground addict, you can consider getting Rai to level 4 just to test it out. But if the if the server picks it up and she sees that you have Rai, they're not going to put Madri, Tyrell and Simon inside the lineup. They're just going to give you a pure DPS lineup and you'll be knocked out in the training ground. Training ground's not my thing, it's just a casual observant. Okay. So, stats wise, uh, she gives the same as... Selma, so total health she gives about 40 and infantry attack and cav attack she gives about 90. It's absolutely insane. She gives she's good for cav and infantry line. Okay, and here is the awakening. Daughter of the North. Whenever allied troops land a critical hit, in fact, bleed. Uh, bleed is another mechanic that I found out is really in bar. Whenever the allied front row lands a total of normal 20 attack, the next normal attack will do a critical hit. 120% Rai will be silenced for the battle. Okay, so when you when Rai uh, casts bleed, right, it's also considered as another attack. So the way the new... Um, no commander damage stuff is coded it's coded as an extra troop attack that makes it bleed so when they in fact land a bleed it actually triggers off Sonara getting an additional attack so the whole new design after Sonara came out where you have Kevin supporting him uh, Rai supporting him, Barrett supporting him is uh, absolutely amazing so okay so before i go into the formation just gonna put the thing here first thing ray is very is only for inf and calf ray is good for training ground to counter simon and Madri Tyrell. If you have a level 3, like 75, she's actually you can see the difference already. So Ray is a part of the bleed pack. Okay. So let me put down notepad. So So I, I actually tried two rallies. Congrats on Jim Swartz for taking it. So Jim Swartz has similar numbers with the same stats with the same. I'm not gonna show the stats. But the first rally, he didn't change formation and he had uh, 5 million T3, went full inf, uh, 38, 78. Next one was a calf counter. Same thing. You can tell the difference uh, between the countering is so essential. This is for the old school players that are not playing uh, full bowl. And uh, look at this. Calf may have killed more, but calf also died more. Infantry killed less, but infantry also died less. My calf is probably my weak, uh, weakest troop type, but I think if you look at my configuration here, this is probably the best of what I would recommend currently to fully optimize uh, Rai. So, but I'm not going to show the stats because like uh, not, you're not supposed to, if anyone does, like... Okay, 
So the one thing uh I went through the report, I noticed that Rai right, uh like I said, when you bleed right, it triggers additional Sonara attack. So the Sandor, Rai, Barret that all this causes bleed right has a chance to prop your Sonara attack, giving you an additional attack. So it's like attack, bleed, triggers Sonara attack again, then all this triggers Kevin. Then the whole lineup is extremely uh synergistic. La. So, uh, Ray and Sandor don't actually appear that often because they are need 20. And look at how many uh, Sandor could gain bleed skill. 380. Like, and then they bleed and they take this and they bleed. Then this attack trigger a crit 120 damage. Look at that. So, your attacks are getting like insanely uh, steroided up like, as you can compare you see normally you're taking about yeah, 49 you're taking about extra 20 uh, it adds up and the uh, crit critical was at 13 seconds and I see it trigger at 20 seconds and another at 40 seconds so you don't need to go deep into this but like the whole synergistic trigger with Rai just gives you a message uh, damage outburst. I'm not sure whether my Sandor or Rai was uh, truly effective there. But uh, I can see the whole uh, where this play around Sonara lineup is actually uh, beneficial compared to the commander female damage. I think it's actually a bit stronger because the bleed actually can replace commander damage. So if you look at this lineup, uh, bleed two bleeds, you can cover your commander damage because the commander damage is not so much and you got Sonara attacking extra. So this is obviously the uh, hard, mid, top medium spender because I have Sandor. If you don't have, you can consider replacing Sandor with Barret. Or I think this is the full lineup for infantry. And I think if you're using Rai for Kev, and you can consider replacing Sandor with uh, Rob Stark. But this configure it. Then for the infantry line, you can ask me uh, why Why am I using less cats when I'm so high into bleed? When you do uh, infantry lineup and you use Barret, you have one dead slot coming from Barret because it gives you some shitty wood production. Let me check Barret, I'm not very sure. Barret. I don't think it's three combat stats, uh, is he? Okay, storm production, okay. Okay, so why not Barret? Like, why Let's is not Barret? Because Barret has wood production. And Kevin here has training speed. So in th if this was Barret, I would have two dead stat slot. People put too much emphasis on uh, level 4 synergy. But trust me, if your level 4 synergy is high but your stats are shit, you're not going to accomplish much. So I tested with Barrett and I tested uh, Barrett swapping uh, Let's and Barrett swapping Kevin. Uh, this lineup is still most optimal. I will try at Rylaw's trial and I'll get back to you my final findings. But from infantry perspective, I only have one dead slot coming, two dead slot. One coming from Rai Tolo Kev attack and one uh, attacking from uh, Kevin's uh, training speed. So if I add Barret, I would have 3, which is not uh, optimal. You must reduce the number of dead stats you have. So for infantry, I think this is the most optimal lineup. For cavalry, you cannot use Barret because you're giving up too much stats. And if you look at this formation, you're giving up uh, infantry attack and infantry defense from Sonara. Training speed from Kevin, 3. And Rai infantry attack, 4. You're giving up 4 out of... 3 times 5, 15. So 11 active, 11 out of 15 is still high. But for the infantry, it's 12 out of 15. So you must always ensure to get your stats like 10 out of 15, like to be marginal possible. Unless you're rich off your ass, you're gonna spend like uh, so much money, like you can get the full Buster 5, then you have 15 out of 15. Other than that, you have to be a poor person like me. You probably have to gonna do this. So, yep, uh, really went to town on Rai. This is a full 12 million castle with uh, decent stats. Just keep hammering him just so I can get the test report. And when, uh, what can I say is that 
if I didn't have Rai in this lineup, and let's say it was Barrett, my crit will not be that good. Barrett's bleed and uh, Rai and Sandor's bleed are d different things, you know. Like, like even though Barrett triggers off every 8 seconds, right? But Rai has the critical component, and Barrett's bleed somehow looks weirdly, like, not as impactful. Okay, so... As you can tell, this is the type of uh, configuration I would uh, advocate for if you're using Ray and Sonara. If you're not using Sonara in the lineup, do not get Ray. Just get her 2 star for the combat rate and just move on with your life. Okay, combat rate is here. Rai is also good in the tavern. You can consider maxing her to level 2 because like she's the only good jewelry unless you have a uh, Sabrina. But Rai is the only one that gives you combat rating and leadership for jewelry. So like you can consider getting her to level 2 though. But the Sandor and Sonara line configuration currently is this and I'm going to change it to Rai. So this will be my uh default castle and uh, like my default formation. Like I'm hoping Palito will be good with uh Sandor and Sonara, but as of now, the Sonara Sandor line has very weak spear configuration. In fact, I would argue that the the second row Jamie Drake is better than Sonara Sandor, even though Sandor is a busted five because the spear doesn't have the bleed effect to support Sandor and Sonara. Okay, so not much notepad today. I just wanted to give you guys on two cents. If you have Sonara, you can consider getting Rai to level 4 to palm up her stats. She's good at level 3 if you're Inf and Calf player. And it's like her stats as good as uh, Let's total attack though. But she has one dead slot if unless you're playing uh, Inf Calf. But nowadays, I don't recommend people playing in uh, two lines. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my for uh, my rant, and this is uh, Rise Awakening. Should you get her if you're playing the Sonara com like me, she she's a must get. But if you're playing the old Layla uh com like the old female com Layla Selma, uh, you can skip her though. But there's an argument that you can actually consider this Layla Selma. Where is Selma? And maybe Annie and I uh, want to really want a female. You can consider this for a full cavalry lineup though, or you have like if you have uh what could I this and Annie. This will be an okay configuration for cavalry because like you have one, two, three, four, four dead slots. And I think if you are playing the uh full care female version, this would actually be not bad though. So uh the fourth slot, I think this would be not bad. So but I recommend Sen Rise level 4 is only good with Sonara. So if you're a Sonara player, she's can consider really good to get. If you're not playing Sonara line because you spend too much money on commander stuff, do not get her. But at least get her to level 2 because she's the only useful commander past 60 that has both combat rating and leadership for the jewelry. Okay, so this is Bubble Tease. Uh, sorry for my 30 minute rant. Um, I hope if you want to see anything, let me know. I can't send you the report because like, I do not want to give Jim's stats away. He's very kind to take two rallies. Much appreciated. Jim, if you're watching this, thank you. Alright, have a good weekend. Bubble Tease signing out.